Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy from LotusNotebook.com. Episode number 17, X-Pages Rendering. If my car gets in a fender bender, can I just render accident equals false? Okay, first, uh, I just want to say a quick thank you. This uh, kind of concludes uh, Notes 9 week, which in itself was a celebration of the Wiki Madness event at wikimadness.com. And uh, I've gotten a lot of good response from a week's worth of shows. Uh, I try to keep them varied, and I, I hope you like them. Um, okay, so today I want to talk about rendering. Uh, I had a different topic for this show, but quite honestly, I, I just didn't have the time to, to finish that up. I was going to talk about Medusa from uh, the, the Lotus 911 guys, Nathan Freeman and Tim Troconi, and that's still going to happen. It uh, just needs a little more time to prep, and I want to try and demo that and show you how that works because it really looks to be a fantastic pro uh, promise of a, a debugger to X pages. So we'll save that for another show and we're going to talk about rendering. Um, so this is going to be an all demo show and let's go to the demo. Okay, so here's the next page I did on the previous show. And I've got this repeat control here for the websites in the multi-value field. I want to be able to show or hide this depending on um, the state of a button. So we're going to create some buttons and, and do basically show and hide or hide when if you're old school notes people. Okay, so how are we going to do this? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the X page events before page load and we're going to create a, a view scoped variable. And we're going to set it to false. So we're going to create a variable called display when this page loads and it's going to be set by to false by default. Okay, next we're going to drag a couple panels on and we're going to name them. And the first one's going to be named, let's come up here, outer, oops, and the next one's going to be named inner. spell. Okay, so we've got an outer and an inner panel. Now, we want to move the repeat control and its label into the inner panel. We're going to just go to the source and cut and paste that. And while we're here, I'm going to just make a make a break here, BR, because uh, I like to have a little room to work with. Okay, so we've got the outer and the inner, but the inner is not inside the outer. Um, so what we want to do is actually put the inner into the outer. And we're going to come down to outline and just drag that, drag that up there. Okay, so now it's no longer just a clever name. The inner is actually inside and contained by this outer panel. Next, we're going to do a couple of buttons. And the first button we're going to name show. And the next button we're going to name hide. And what we're going to do is we want to we don't want these we want these buttons to show appropriately. So we're going to control the visible property for each button and determine whether or not they need to display them. Okay, so if and this should be button. So the the display starts out as false show this button if display is not false. So this is the JavaScript not. So if it's not false, it's true and we want it to display. And over here we're going to do pretty much just not have the not. And I'll type this one in. Get display. Okay. So, so far so good. So now in theory our buttons are going to show or hide uh, correctly based on that view scope variable. But buttons are meant to be clicked and we want to do something when they do get clicked. And what we want to do here is view scope put. Display and change this variable to true. And when this gets clicked we want to do a partial update of the outer panel. What that partial update is going to do is it's going to redraw this whole section of 
the the page but nothing else and let's go down here and we're going to do hide is going to be the same basic thing but that's going to be false and again we're going to do a partial update of the the outer panel okay so really the last thing we need to do is now take this panel and we want this to draw depending on that variable whether it's a true or false so the inner panel all properties has a rendered section so if we click on this and we do view scope get our display which is either going to be true or false so that's going to be whether that's going to show whether or not it's true or false and let's see if I got this right cool websites here's a show button we click on this here it is it turned into a hide button instantly and back and uh, it's, it's hard to tell but this is the only part of the page that's being drawn or drawn because of an Ajax request from the the, the building dojo text page controls this and there you have it a partial page refresh and you're basically doing a show when on your page okay and that's kinda how you use rendering to do some uh, kinda live partial refreshes on your website to kinda make it feel more like a web 2.0 application similar to the old hide when of the notes client days and now it's kinda sh show now I guess maybe you could consider it that way and I hope that was uh, educational and here's my contact information uh, thank you very much for watching